Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Steady with Danny. My name is Daniel Lottery and I'm excited to have you here. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to the channel and click on the post notification bell icon so that you don't miss any new video. From the title, I guess you already know what this video is about, so let's get right into it. So the objectives for today's videos are to install and import the Lasio library into Jupyter Notebook, to import pandas, matplotlib, numpy, and other relevant libraries into the Jupyter Notebook. We would also learn how to get your file path from your C drive or your desktop or wherever it may be on your computer. We will also learn how to directly import dot last files into Jupyter Notebook using the Lasio library. And then I'll take you into a brief introduction of data pre-processing where we will touch on how to visualize missing data. And finally, we will learn how to join two different data frames in a column or row join. Okay, so in today's video, I'll show you how to import your well logs into Jupyter Notebook using a library called Lasio. In my previous video, I showed you how to convert a .last file to CSV file and then import it as a data frame. So this video is going to teach you something similar but using a different approach. So in order for you to get the codes that I am going to use, you have to pause the video and type everything in. But before I go on, I'll have to explain to you how these codes work so with last year you need to install the library using the exclamation mark pip install last year okay and then you import pandas as pd then you import matplotlib.pyplot as plt then you import cbon as sns these will be used in subsequent videos for data visualization you can ignore this code for now okay and then you can ignore this code for now but you also need to import numpy as np and then this would also be used for data visualization this will keep all your plots in line okay then after you are done installing lasio you have to import lasio you can decide to import lasio as las but you can also leave it as it is you also need to type in this code so that some common warnings will be ignored this code will also help you to create high resolution images where you can take screenshots and use it for your presentations and whatnot. So in this tutorial, I am using Jupyter Notebook from Anaconda. The previous one, I used the Jupyter Notebook from the IBM online platform, but I'm just using a different platform to show you that regardless of the platforms you'll be using, they all work the same. So you, after typing this code in, you have to run it. And then it will take some few seconds before you actually get all the libraries installed and imported. If you if you think um, yours is taking time, it's just normal. So now it's all done. So what this is trying to tell me that the last year requirement has already been satisfied because I had already imported it before starting this video. Okay, but because it's still running, when you see this, it means your code or your cell is still running. So because it's still running. You have to wait for it to be done running okay so once it's done running you see the number appearing here okay so once it's done running we need to go and start importing our dot last file okay so wherever your file is using anaconda or let's say the ibm online platform you just need to type in the file name if you're using the ibm platform but when you're using anaconda it means you are going to use your root file so that is your c drive so you just have to click on shift and right click on the file to and then you go through the options and select copy as path so when you select copy as path you have to come and paste it in here to get this but this code will give an error let me show you what i mean by to give an error so this is the path okay so i've named i've given it a variable file name input okay so i just run it you see i am getting a unicode error in order to understand this just copy and paste this in google and then you you can read about it but to solve this error you have to put r 
R means read. Okay, so you have to put R before the pathway. Then you run the cell. To run the cell, I am using Shift Enter, but you can also use this to run the cell. Okay. So now I'm going to import my raw log as last 20. So the code to use is last you dot read, then you put it the file name. And the file name have already been done. Okay, so you just click shift enter to run. Okay, so the raw log that I am using has been divided into two, the input and the output. The input refers to the gamma rays, the neutron density, the resistivity logs, the sonic and all that. And the output are processed logs, which are the porosity, the permeability, the visuals, the saturation, the sand flag and all those stuff. So these outputs are usually what we use machine learning to predict. But for this well, it was uh, petrol that was used to get these processed raw logs so i'll have to import them as well okay so i'm going to import the output also and again shift right click on the file you just scroll down to copy as path then you come and paste it and you add r before your um, link okay so you just press shift enter and then you run it so i've named that one as also last 21 you can name it any way you want, but I have chosen last 20 for my input and last 21. Another interesting thing that you can also do using Lasio is you can read the headers from the raw logs. You know, when you look at the dot last file, we have the headers such as the stats, the stop, depth, the step, the company, the raw name and all that. Okay. So you can notice here that there's the start depth and there's the stop depth All right so you can also run this code and you get this data don't worry this has already been run that's why you are seeing the um, output here so you do the same thing for the output if you have just one well just do it once but because i have the input and the output i am doing it twice and also to extract your well names this is the code that you have to use don't worry you can pause the video and type in the code I will also try and make this available in my GitHub repository so that you can always go in there and download the Jupyter notebook file. So you have to run this code also to get your well name. Okay, so let's go into some little bit of data pre-processing. Don't worry, data pre-processing would be a tutorial on its own. I'm just trying to give you guys a taste of how data pre-processing works. Right, so to view your curves or to know the types of curves or well logs that you have, you have to input this code, right? So you can pause it and type it in. Great, so once you're done, you run it and it will tell you the type of well logs that we have. So we have the bit size, the caliper, the density corrector, the sonic logs, the gamma ray, and phi and all of that. Okay, so there are 22 curves within this file. Then I do the same thing for my output. So you just need to change, just copy the paste, um, copy and paste the code and just change the well name. Okay. So you do the same and show you that we have nine curves. So we have the depth, the carbonate flag, the cold flag, horizontal permeability and all that. Okay. Now we want to visualize the well log as a data frame because that is how we are going to use machine learning. So we need to put our raw log into a data frame and this is the code to convert into a data frame so last 20 which is the input dot last file dot df df means data frame okay so you just run it and then you view okay so this code raw dot tail with a bracket tail is showing you the bottom um part of the of the table okay it's just showing the bottom part of the of the table so you would remember the depth was 4561.7 okay so 4561.7 if you want to see the top part of the table you just change the tail to head and then you run it and it's going to show you the top part of the table and that is it because we use last the depth is being used as an index there's a way to move the depth to this column so that the index will, will be just zero one two three and so on continuous numbers but let's just leave this as it is i'll show you how to correct this later on 
so you run the same thing for your output then you get this we can see that the output is showing different depths okay like four three three five point one but this one was four five six one okay but this all means that the output is starting at a different level or a different depth to the input okay so we we just have to combine the table so you you'd remember we had 22 curves for the input and nine for the output so we are joining it together so in order for you to join it actually in order for you to do a column join that is if you have 22 inputs and you want to join nine it's going to give you 31 right so you have to type in this code and add access one if you actually want it to continue below your data frame you, you don't need this you have to delete this okay but because depth is common depth will not be added again so that is what this code is going to do for you right and you can see a lot of nans and a nan means not a number not a number and with the output because it started at a lower depth it will have a lot of nans so what do we do if you're interested to know how to handle missing data stay tuned and watch the next video for now let's just do a brief recap of what we did in this tutorial so in this tutorial we installed the library called lasio using the pip install command we also imported lasio and then we imported some relevant libraries like numpy pandas and all that we also learned how to get the file name from our computers by using the shift and right click on the mouse. We also imported a dot last file into Jupyter notebook. Okay. And then we learned how to count and view our curves. When I say curves, I mean our Y line logs, which is the gamma ray, neutron density and all that. We also learned how to convert the last file into a data frame and finally we learned how to combine or join or concatenate two different data frames thank you very much for staying with me up to the end of this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share with your friends if you have any question or topic that you like help with in learning leave it down in the comment section and i'll try my best to attend to it Click on the post notification bell icon so that you'll be alerted whenever a new video is uploaded. Here at Steady with Danny, we teach in order to learn and we learn in order to teach. Stay safe. Bye-bye.